well, as you, uh, as the cars catch back up to the pace car to, again, the final pace lap before the green, which will come on lap 22 of 35, which will put us at, uh, roughly two-thirds distance. Alexis Reigns, her, as you know, bad, uh, another bad pit stop. She went all the way to the back. Stephanie McGlynn is still the race leader. Lauren Roth in second. Then Sam Morell. Ricky Navarro, very good pit stop by the CJ Racing Crew, even though that is an Arla team. And then Dan Klezel in the 62. I saw a lot of fuel on these stops, Dad. Uh, Dan, I don't really think there really was much to these pit stops. Maybe some minor adjustments on, on some cars, but other than that, I don't really think uh, anyone changed tires. I think the first car that did change tires was Justin Brooks in the 31, and we'll have to see how that plays into effect. Brooks is way back, I think. I don't even see him in the running order right now. He's probably way in the back there in the top left corner of the screen somewhere. Lauren Roth in that 39 car, I think, has got a very good shot to win this. So does Stephanie McGlynn. The other two cars I really want to look out for are Paul Lyons in the 21, and then Danny Sullivan in the 91. I think Sullivan may win his second Kyle Grand Prix. Third. Second. Will you shut up about 2004 already? Sure. He beat you by, uh, what was it? A couple inches or so. You gotta give it up, man. It's 2008. That was four years ago. <sighs> Alright then. Stephanie McGlynn going to lead the field around. You see the lights in the pace car off. During the final pace lap at a road course, they turn the pace lights off halfway around. Don't know why they still do that. It's just a custom. Sam Morell running in third right now, and I think after the failure of Gary Edwards' car, which is a, which is a uh, Sam Morell chassis and Sam Morell engine, I'd have to think he's worried about that. I'll have to think so, too. And Stephanie McGlynn is also... So I think we said earlier, using the same uh, engine chassis combination, so we'll have to see how that plays out. Also, I believe there's a couple other cars that just have the Morel engines in those in them, and I think those cars may also uh, there may be some worries. We'll have to see about that then. Waiting for the green. There it is. Oh, someone was asleep on that restart because Lyons and Roth jumped way to the inside. McGlynn, I think, very bad restart for the six car, maybe spun at tires. And same with the 62, I think uh, Klezel yeah, done the same thing. Morell stays with McGlynn. Roth goes to the lead and looks like Navarro is going to go for third. He's going to take it. And then Lyons is trying to take fifth away from Klezel. And now he's going for fourth. The Lions getting way too aggressive here. I don't. Klezel is in a good spot to take that uh, fifth spot away from Lions. And oh my, Roderick is off the course. Leonid Roderick and Arto Kekkonen, cars four and five. Roderick gets away, but Arto is stuck in front of his home crowd. Let's see what happened here. Looks like Roderick went up into the zero and then spun down into the infield, takes the five with him. Very odd to see Roderick initiate an incident like this, especially at a, on a restart. Then again, that Zero car was pretty slow. Let's see what happens here. And oh, the Zero wouldn't move out of the way. That's what it looks like. It looks like the Zero car just... Roderick knew that the 5 was coming and wanted to move over a little bit let him go, but there just wasn't any room left. Esco Cascella just didn't budge and... Caused a little skirmish over there. I think Esco probably should have given Roderick room. He had more than enough space, and I don't think that four car would have passed the zero anyway, so they didn't know what all that was about. On board with Ricky Navarro in the number 03 home run in. Happy Tree Friends, Sar, for the CJ Racing Group. Yeah, I, I heard that engine misfire a little bit just, just coming off the turn, but maybe that was his main because it seems to be all right now. Navarro running in third place uh, under the yellow. You may have seen it coming to the green, but it looked like he and Dan Klezel, looked like he almost brake tested Dan Klezel. The officials are gonna be uh, looking at that. There is Danny Savin in number 91. Car number 91, Danny Savin, the rock star, they call him. 
uh, because of, well, pretty much the way he has his hair. It kind of looks like the, the Beatles in the 1960s. Of course, Danny is uh, really, of course, Danny really kind of embraces that uh, kind of image as the kind of, as a the metalhead driver. Every time he wins a race, he performs air guitar for the crowd. He's done it twice here in Coriala, trying to make it three times. He's running all the way back in the seventh position right now. There's the Lauren Roth. In tenth place is Shinji Tanaka. Let's give a call out to him in the 44 car. And in eleventh is Tom Delgado, who I picked, who was one of those drivers I didn't think had a chance of making this field. Tom Delgado in that 67 having a very solid run. Uh, the Capital One Lenard. There's Paul Lyons in the 21. Delgado having a very solid run, but Paul Lyons is really needs this race to turn his year around because it is absolutely dismal. This is contract year also for Paul Lyons. And, oh my, that's Alexis. Joe Rodriguez. Joe Rodriguez and Esme Rousseau. I thought it was Alexis Rainsford because... Those cars look very sim uh, similar. Oh! Esco! That's two cars in one lap! Two incidents in one lap, Esco! Come on! Uh, two incidents in two laps, I'm sorry. No, that wasn't the beginning of this. Looked like the 86, just... Oh, Esco just taking a little too much here. Oh! Well, oh, Esme Rousseau is having a decent run, at least. That's not what either of these two cars needed, though I dare say the 90 is done, and the 86 may be headed to the, excuse me, to the garage as well. Um, yeah, the officials may be calling in the zero, may actually add a uh, 30 seconds to Esco Cascella's race time, because uh, we're not sure about that. There hasn't been any penalties announced for Colin Evans either, so... All the officials usually announce those after the end of the race to allow cooler heads to prevail. Well, Colin Evans has been called to the hola, and so has apparently Esco Coskella in the zero. There's going to be a long line of people in, at the hauler after the race. Alexis Rainsford to the hauler, um, Colin Evans, and now Esco. Oh, whoa! What's that all about? Oh, whoa! Justin Brooks off! Tony Durbin just ran his teammate off the course! Well, goes around, comes around, Justin. I think you had this one coming. Let's see if we can get a look at this one. If we can. Doesn't look like we'll be able to right this second. Um, we do have an onboard view from Alan Hodges in the 13 car. We're going to see if we can have another look at that in just a minute here. But, well, there's Stephanie McGlynn still running in second. No caution flag out, but the 31 is, I think his race is run, and I think Durbin, I think he and Durbin almost took each other out. Nah. Okay, we got the onboard footage from the 13 car, and we're going to show it right behind you. He had the $75 seat here. Yeah, Brooks runs into Durbin, and then Durbin, I think, says, uh, no thank you, son. <laughs> you really have to wonder what Alan Hodges is thinking when he sees two of the national racing cars sparring off, and he has got to be thinking, is this Marshall and Cooper all over again? That's exactly what I was thinking. Steve Marshall and Ian Cooper, I remember them doing almost exactly the same thing on this course. In fact, Steve Marshall was running into somebody here at Pagliala. That's probably why he never won this race. Savin and Klezel battling it out now, and it looks like Danny Savin will get the edge here. And Dan Klezel's not giving up. He like he will fight for positions like you would not believe. But as the courteous driver would, he moves out of the way if he's being lapped. Well, he he had to let Savin go. Uh, I think Danny was just getting a little tired of uh, Klezel being there and decided to uh, dispatch him. Ryan Araki in the 32 car we're riding on board with. He is running in, I believe, 11th spot. Ryan Araki, Joseph Howard right in front of him in the 17 car. He's a very, very strong car early on, but that 17 car has just fallen off lately. That Joseph's car I thought was going to be a lot better than it was. 
Shinji Tanaka running a few spots ahead of him in the 44 machine. It went, whoa! Delgado just ran into the back of the 44! Is there a problem with the 44? He looks awful slow! Oh! 44 car is stalled! Hodges hits him! Yellow flag is out! Yellow flag is out for the number 44 of Tanaka. Esco runs into him! Adding another car, because Skeller's running. Styles run. What? What just happened here? Looked like the 44. 44 car either had a problem going into the turn or what, but it certainly looked like he had a problem going into the turn, and Delgado just. No indication of it and ran into him. In fact, I doubt if even Shinji knew about it until then. Alan Hodges gets stuck behind him, has to put it in reverse just to get away from that, but. This race is getting this race is getting intense. The attrition is beginning to heat up, and I believe that Tanaka and Brooks are going to add to it. I don't think that's the last of the uh, that's the last of the attrition we're going to see. I think we got a lot more yet to come. Lauren Roth is going to be the leader under this yellow flag. That is the third place man, Ricky Navarro. Well, I don't even think in his life ever thought he. No, never mind. Ricky Navarro probably thought he would be uh, running here at the Coriola Grand Prix. Ricky Navarro. I think he's got a very high opinion of himself, and that's probably what's helped him uh, get this far. He has high confidence uh, at a track like this. Certainly does help. I think Ricky's got uh, his fair share of that. Alright, so while the cleanup takes place, we are going to step out for yet another break. We'll be back just in time to see what everyone's going to do for pit stops and then take you back to the green. What have you done now?